Hi everyone, we are playing Roblox today and this is Bee Swarm Simulator. Right now I am at the bamboo field and I am working on the quest of collecting some blue pollen for my red plus blue equals gold quest. And I came across this puff shroom which is level 1. I have seen them in the game before but I was not able to get any rewards. Maybe I will be lucky this time. And I did have enough time. Awesome. I got some rewards from this puff shroom and I see it transformed into a bigger one on the next field over. But I will let it be for now. Then I finished the quest for Mother Bear, so let's talk to her. Your bees are absolutely enamored with you. I'm convinced you're one of the most caring beekeepers I've met yet. And believe me, I've met a lot. If you can complete my next three lessons, I'll give you something special. Here is a hint, it has to do with gifted bees. As you progress up the mountain, you'll need higher level bees to defend you. Higher level monsters are able to avoid the attacks of lower level bees. If you see the word miss hover above a monster head, that means your bees are underleveled. Keep this in mind before venturing beyond the 15 bee gate. For your next lesson, I want you to raise three bees to level 6. This will help them defend you from the level 7 werewolf who defends that area. I'd also like you to feed 25 sunflower seeds to your bees. I've heard werewolves tend to drop those. Okay, those are good quests. And let's see, can I upgrade any of my items? afford much there. What about the collecting tools? Can't get the magnet. That looks cool. Let's go back one. Maybe try this one. Leave the shop. Kinda looks like a wand. Awesome. Now let's go up here. I think I can talk to the Science Bear. Fascinating, so there are at least six types of bees. Oh, and some very interesting notes on the behavior of beetles. By studying these, I believe I can unlock some potential in your swarm. Hmm, thinking. Aha, there we go. From here on out, your bees will be able to convert 25% more pollen to honey at a time. That brings the conversion efficiency bonus to 50%. Report back to me when you're ready to do more research. Scientific methods allow us to reliably test things. By systematically observing and measuring things, we can see if my hypothesis is correct. My hypothesis is that if you do the following, I can enhance your bees. Collect 35,000 blue pollen and pollen from the pineapple patch. Defeat three mantises. Defeat nine rhino beetles. And most importantly, discover seven types of bees. Report back when your research is complete. Awesome, I know exactly where to find a mantis and a rhino beetle. It's right here at the pineapple patch. So let's go defeat a couple. Awesome. They will spawn again later in the game. I will just have to keep checking this field. Mm -hmm. 
And now Eric joined me in the game. There he is with all his bees and looks like we have the same magic wand thingies. There we go. Go green magic, go. Perfect. This is my gifted hasty bee. I'm just showing it to Eric. He was not lucky enough to get a gifted bee just yet, but that's okay. We don't give up and we will keep trying to get more of those. We are back at the pineapple field here. I am working on my quests and Eric is dropping some of these marshmallow thingies. That should help us collect more pollen and more honey at the same time. And I'm back to talk to Black Bear. Nice job, you've earned this gold egg for sure. But I've got even better stuff to give to you. Hatch the egg and report back. The fun's just starting. Great, I got my golden egg. Let's go hatch it and let's see what kind of bee I can get. And I hatched a fire bee. It's a new type. It's red epic. As an egg, this bee was accidentally left in the trunk of a car in the middle of the summer for over three days. Oh, poor thing. That bee looks really cool. Perfect. So let's open our quests and I think I should be able to go back to Black Bear soon and see what else he has to say. By now I bet you feel pretty at home here. That means you're finally ready for some real deal honey making. My upcoming requests are for top beekeepers only. I believe you've got what it takes. Complete my next 20 quests and I'll give you my most valuable possession, a diamond egg. They always hatch into legendary or mythic bees. They're the best of the best. Oh, and to help you out, I'll give you royal jelly for every four quests you complete before then. Let's kick things off with something simple. Collect 50,000 white pollen. Now I am back at the pineapple field. I am almost finished with the quest for the science bear. I just need to defeat one more mantis. Hopefully it will spawn here soon. Let's see. And there it is. Come on bees, help me finish my quest. Oh no! Perfect! Thank you, bees! Let's see, got these pineapples. Thank you! Now let's go talk to Science Bear again. Fascinating, so there are at least seven types of bees. Oh, and some nice notes on the symbiosis between mantises and rhino beetles. By studying these, I believe I can unlock some potential in your swarm. Hmm, thinking, aha, there we go. From here on out, your bees will be able to convert 25% more pollen to honey at a time. That brings the conversion efficiency bonus to 75%. Report back to me when you're ready to do more research. Let's collect these uh, gifts. Perfect. Bees and flowers go hand in hand. The flowers provide bees with nectar and the bees pollinate the flowers. Without bees, the flowers wouldn't be able to reproduce and without flowers, the bees wouldn't be able to make honey. For our next project, I'll be doing some botany. 
It's a science of plants. I believe if we learn more about the flowers themselves, I'll be able to unlock more potential in your swarm. Here's what we will need. 25,000 pollen from the dandelion field, and also the sunflower field, and also the blue flower field. Defeat two spiders, and more, most importantly, discover eight types of bees. Report back when your research is complete. Oh, and I got another gift. Awesome. Now I would like to check out this area on the left here. I've never been to this field. Looks like there is a lot of flowers and there is some sort of monster. That's a big one. That's a massive snail. And my bees are trying to attack it, but it has a lot of health, so I am not sure if I am ready to fight this guy just yet. But the field is nice, lots of blue flowers, you can collect lots of pollen at a time. But I think it's better to come back here when I have more bees and they are stronger. Awesome, I think I just got a badge, let's see, it's honey badge, great, I got some tickets, perfect. And I was at the spider field when the vicious bee appeared and all the spikes started appearing on the field. It was very tricky. My bees tried attacking it. It looks really strong as well. I don't think my bees are quite ready for fighting this guy. Eric joined in and he tried helping. Still really tricky. That vicious bee is pretty strong and hard to beat. Okay, let's talk to Black Bear. Nice job, that wasn't too hard. Three more quests and I'll give you a royal jelly. Nineteen more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg. It's always nice here because it's always spring. Not too cold, not too hot, just right. Flower is always in bloom, bees always buzzing. I couldn't ask for a better home. Let's do something in the spirit of springtime. Collect 30,000 pollen from the strawberry and sunflower fields. I can definitely do that. And looks like I've finished a few more quests. First, let's go talk to Panda Bear here. I've defeated my ladybugs. Alright, three more quests and a silver egg is yours. Make sure you're leveling up your bees. It gives them more energy and allows them to attack higher level enemies. You'll need that as your training progresses. When you defeat an enemy, it takes a while for it to come back. They have to regain their strength. So this might take a while. Defeat five spiders. Okay, and I think Science Bear is the next one to talk to. Here we go. Fascinating, so there are at least eight types of bees. Oh, and some valuable notes on how bees pollinate different types of flowers. By studying these, I believe I can unlock some potential in your swarm. No, 
is thinking, from here on out, your bees will be able to convert 25% more pollen to honey at a time. That brings the conversion efficiency bonus to 100%. Report back to me when you're ready to do more research. Bears aren't so different from bees. We are related as members of the animal kingdom. That also includes you. Flowers and trees, well, those are obviously plants, but mushrooms, those are fungi, an entirely different kingdom. The biological classifications of things are not always obvious. To get a true understanding, we need to look closer. Our next project involves collecting samples from all three of those kingdoms, collect 75,000 pollen from the bamboo field, and 35,000 pollen from the mushroom field. Defeat two spiders, and most importantly, discover nine types of bees. Report back when your research is complete. And I just finished Black Bear's quests. Nice job, I bet it smells good in those fields. Two more quests and I'll give you a royal jelly. Eighteen more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg. I wonder what the mountain would look like without the bees. Do you think the flowers would just grow taller and taller? That would be a big mess, I wouldn't be able to stand it. I guess I'd have to clean up things myself, oh no. Thankfully I can count on you and your bees. Here is the next lesson in your quest to becoming the top honey maker. Collect 40,000 pollen from the dandelion and bamboo fields. What? I promise, it's a lesson. I'm not just trying to get you to do my dirty work. Who would do such a thing? Oh, this black bear is a funny guy. Now let's go visit the store, see if I can get anything better for my items. Let's open the shop. Okay, maybe a better collecting tool. I have enough for the scissors. Let's get that. Okay. Let's go down here and try them out. Chop, chop, chop. Um, okay, this is definitely different from all the other items I've used. It only picks one little square at a time. I'm not sure how I feel about this item. I'll have to keep using it more and see. Now I just purchased two eggs. Let's try hatching them. Usually I just get a basic bee, just like this one. I have one more egg. Awesome, I got an epic one this time. It's a honey bee. A satisfied bee always full with the finest honey. If you're lucky, it will share some. That was awesome, new type discovered just from the regular egg. And I'm back talking to the black bear. Nice job, do you feel smarter now? One more quest and I'll give you a royal jelly. 17 more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg. As you become a better and better beekeeper, the types of your bees become more important. Top honey makers depend on special combinations of bees for maximum effect. You can specialize in bees of a certain color or bees that make bombs for huge combos. Thinking of the composition of your swarm will take your honey making to the next level. Next up, collect 100,000 pollen. Goodness, that is a lot of pollen to collect. I better get to work. 
And that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we will see you all next time. Bye!